you came across this question in your jam exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says copper sulfate solution is electrolyzed using platinum electrodes all right moving further the question now says a current of 0 0.193 a now this a you are looking at here simply means amperes i believe you are following me a current of 0 0.193 a which is 0 0.193 amperes is passed for two hours now this is what the question says the question says calculate the mass of copper deposited this question is extremely very easy before we solve any question at all in chemistry we have to determine the topic to which that question is from and from the look of things this particular practice question is from the topic in chemistry called electrolysis how did i know that it's actually from electrolysis it is simple i saw a word in this question and that word was electrolyzed i believe you are following me it is very simple now before we go ahead to solve this question because extremely very easy i already have full video lessons on my youtube channel where i explain every single concept about electrolysis be it the theoretical aspect and as well as the calculative aspect on this topic you can see that this particular question is from electrolysis calculations specifically and i already have the video lesson that explains solving questions on this aspect so make sure you go watch those video lessons all right they are very very important so moving further in that particular video lesson where i explain every single thing you have to know about electrolysis calculations this particular type of question was explained in a particular case and it is on general calculation seen in electrolysis we have different approach to how questions on electrolysis calculations can be solved you can be giving questions on the friday's first of electrolysis you can be giving questions on the faraday's second law of electrolysis you can be giving questions on electrolysis calculations dealing with volume you can be giving questions on electrolysis calculations dealing with number of moles I did have all of these video lessons, so make sure you go watch that video. So as soon as I just saw this question, I already know what to actually do to solve this question. And there is a formula to actually write out down to actually solve this question. And it is very, very simple. Now, if you are just joining this community and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also share my videos with your friends so you don't miss out on my next video to be uploaded. So let's get right into this question. And it is very easy. From the look of this, they are asking us to calculate for the mass of copper. So, there is a formula for actually solving mass in electrolysis. And in my video lesson, I actually placed this formula on the general calculations seen in electrolysis. And here is the formula. It is very simple. It is simply mass is equal to molar mass. All right. Listen carefully. Times I times t over q times f if this question was on faraday's first law of electrolysis i'm going to tell you and i'm going to explain what to do to solve the question and from the look of things it's not on faraday's first law of electrolysis all right if it's on that aspect you'll be seeing z in the question and z means something it is called electrochemical equivalent you'll be seeing that value in that question then it tells you that Oh, this particular question is on Faraday's first law of electrolysis. If it's on Faraday's second law of electrolysis, the question will be relating to different metals. Are you there? It is simple. So make sure you go watch those video lessons. And at the end of solving this question, I'm going to give you your own so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. So moving further, let's analyze the parameters in the formula. You can see this is molar mass. Please, this I'm about saying is very important. Whenever you are solving any practice question at all in electrolysis, when you see molar mass, what you are interested in is simply getting the molar mass of the element they are asking you to get the mass of or the volume of. Now, this is what I mean. You can see that they say we should calculate the mass of copper. 
You are not to calculate molar mass of the full compound. Are you there? Because this copper surface solution is simply has a chemical formula to be CuSO4. Sometimes you can just write this instead of this copper surface solution. So please, you are not to calculate the molar mass of the full compound. What you are interested in only is getting the molar mass of the element mentioned at the end of the question, and it is copper in this case. In other practice questions, it can be any element at all. So what I'm trying to tell you here is this. Whenever you have to solve any question in electrolysis calculations, you don't have business with the compound calculating the molar mass of the full compound. What you're interested in is only the element given to you, and it is copper in this case. Are you there? So I believe I've analyzed this part of molar mass. So what does I here mean? It simply means current, and current is expressed in amperes. Are you there? So this number you're actually looking at is, is the number that should be in place of this I you're looking at. Whether T is time, it is not temperature. Are you there? And you must know here that whenever you're solving any question in electrolysis, your time must be converted to seconds. If the time is in hours, make sure you convert to seconds. If the time is in minutes, make sure you convert to seconds. And how do you do that? Very simple. Whenever you have to convert a value that is expressed in hours to seconds, what you simply do is simply time seeing that value in hours times 260. Are you there? It is very simple. You can see what I said. You can see in this question, the, the time given to us was in two hours. Then we have to times these two hours by what? 260. 60 times 60, we get our answer in seconds. Are you there? But for instance, the time in the question was expressed in minutes. Then how do we convert a value expressed in minutes to seconds? It's still very easy. Then for we to do this, we simply times that minute value by just 160. So it's going to be minutes times 60. We'll get our answer in seconds. But if it's in hours, times by 260. I believe you are following me. So that is for that. Q here means charge of the element. Are you there? Charge of the element. You are not talking about charge of the compound. Are you, are you there? Charge of the element. And this is why you have to watch my full video lesson on electrolysis and see I wrote out some major elements and their charges. You are likely going to see in the jump exam. I listed out some elements and their charges. And this is why you must know here that Copper charge is 2 plus. So the Q for copper becomes 2. You know, we have various common elements they used to bring all the time in the jam exam. So all of those elements, I actually fish them out in the jam pass question. And then in that video lesson, I wrote all of them out. So it's important for you to know them. There are reasons why all of these are gotten all right. So this is another topic entirely. But it is important for you to know that copper is 2 plus. Are you there? Zinc is 2 plus as well. Aluminum is 3 plus. So you can see all of these elements and the charges. All of these have been explained in my video lessons on electrolysis calculations. So make sure you go watch that video. And at the end of solving this question, I'm going to give you your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. So then you can see that Q now becomes 2 plus. Whether F is a constant, and F is called Faraday's constant, and it is what? 96500 columns are you there so anytime i see if i'm going to put 96500 columns it is very simple so with all of these parameters written down let's actually impute them into the formula to get the answer to this question and at the end of solving this question i'm going to give you your practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section so it is very easy then we start mass which they are asking us to calculate for they can actually ask you to calculate for anything they can ask you to calculate for i ask you to calculate for time it's just that in this question we are looking for mass then you can see might be made subject of formula already if they are asking us to calculate for the i which is current then we make it subject of formula i believe you understand it's not difficult that is why you must watch my full video lesson on electrolysis calculations so you know how every single concept in electrolysis is done it's very simple all right so let's move for that then what's the molar mass of copper very simple you have to know here that copper atomic mass is 63.5 and when we have an element's atomic mass that is the molar mass of that element so since the atomic mass of copper you'll be given most times in the jam exam it is 63.5 so automatically the molar mass of copper is 63.5 grams per mole because grams per mole is the unit for molar mass you'll be giving so you don't have to stress yourself so the molar mass becomes 63.5 grams per mole all right 
times what is the eye, what is the current given in question, it is 0 0.193 amperes times what's the time. You can see that the time is two hours, but must make sure you convert it to seconds because I just explained you must make sure your time is converted to seconds when solving any question in electrolysis. So let's convert two hours to seconds. It's going to be two hours, all right, times 60 times 60. So two hours times 60 times 60, that's 7,200. So this two hours is equivalent to 7,200 seconds. I believe you are following me. So then time becomes 7,200 divided by the Q for copper is two. We've said that already. There is a reason to why it is two, but it's important for you to know it is two. Are you there? Whereby the F, which is the Faraday's constant, is simply 96500 coulombs. Are you there? So let's include all of this into our calculator. So we are having 63.5 times 0 0.193 times 7200 divided by 2 times 9, 6500 coulombs. All right, 96500 coulombs. That is 0 0.4. 572 grams all right so i had the mass to be what now 0 0.4572 grams so let's see the options to this question that corresponded to our answer you can see option a is 0 0.457 we had 0 0.4572 grams so then option a is the answer to this question it is extremely very easy it's not option b or option c or option d i believe now you understood how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress it is not difficult so get ready for your own practice question and here is your own practice question i'm going to change the parameter here becomes 0.5 amperes and then it will be zinc sulfate all right it's going to be zinc sulfate then if zinc sulfate is not going to be in this element and then uh, calculate the mass of zinc you understand i told you at least you are only interested with a particular element and then um zinc atomic mass is 65 then approximately it's going to be 65 grams per mole when it comes to the molar mass and as well, I'm still going to tell you the chart for zinc. Zinc is ZN2+. Plus. So it's important for you to go watch my video lesson to learn other elements and their charges, all right? And there are reasons to how all these are gotten, okay? They are very simple. And the time will be changed to, uh, let's say, 300 minutes. So let's see what you do to solve this question. It is extremely very easy. I've already explained to you how to convert from minutes to seconds. So you can see how all these questions have been solved all right so we've come to the end of this video lesson if you found my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends thanks for watching are you finding it difficult to solve questions like this in the jam exam look no further here is the solution to that problem here is the chemistry masterpiece written by me a book with detailed explanation to different topics in chemistry specifically focusing on chemistry calculations and as well as those key informations you need in the jam chemistry exam for every topic you read there are practice questions at the beginning of each topics in the chemistry masterpiece to actually test your knowledge on that particular topic you are studying for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be here on the screen